We have come to the ark. It's like, wait, stop, stop moving. It looks like your hat. Because <laughs> there's a gap like right in the middle where your head is. This square is beautiful. The yellow walls in the arch. And we just went down the main street. Lauren bought some clothes for New Year's. Yeah, the new scarf. Literally for a great price. So now we're gonna go to the architecture museum to come. A look at the little trolleys. What are, they're not called trolleys. What are they called? Tram, tram. That one's decorated. Yeah, driving. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Our shadows are very long. Makes me feel large. Those are some lyrics I can get behind. Look at this crowd. We are at the architecture museum, the Carmel ruins, and oh, sorry, not architecture, archeological museum. Wait, I think I've been calling it the architecture museum this whole time. Okay, well, I'm an idiot, so. Photography, oh, with tripod, we're good. I ain't got no tripod on this. That's some nice green. Sick. <laughs> this is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Come here. It's a real mummy? Oh my god. I thought it was like an artistic recreation. Oh my god, I can't. You can enjoy the beauty and grace of the museum, or you can take mirror selfies. <laughs> they literally just put a full length mirror, but it does look cool because it reflects the whole architecture. So. Yeah, very cool. We saw a nice little video that was formatted for one of the arches inside and it was sick. Something about the like wiring on the balconies reminds me of New Orleans. Oh yeah. I mean, I've never been to New Orleans. No, that's no, no, no. I have no idea why magicians do that, but <laughs> open up your hand and show everybody what's inside of that. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing though, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We're at Pastais de Belém. It's like a pastry place that's really famous. That multiple people told us to go to, right? Yes. And so they're a dollar, well, a euro 15. There's no good lighting here, I'm sorry. And we're gonna get one and try it and see if it's worth the hype it does look like and if it's worth the gluten and dairy yeah i told you it's so cute it is red. yeah it looks right through there it's like the golden gate bridge of portugal well, first we took a tram and then they kicked us off so we took a bus to Not belem us <laughs> what no, <you> said that. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked everyone off mine is moving but yeah this is definitely a pop-in facility this is the madness of everyone getting their pastries will she make it <laughs> Lauren's it's like powdered sugar. decorating her pastry. That's nice. Wait, I don't want to pour too much on. I'm scared. See, this is why they should have given us a sift. A sifter, yeah. Don't oh, breathe in. Oh my god. <laughs> Came to Starbucks <laughs> and I got iced coffee. <laughs> and then we're gonna try our pastries. This reminds me of growing Interesting. Up, we would make buttered toast all the time and put cinnamon sugar on. Oh yeah, I would do that too. I would like mix cinnamon and sugar with butter. We did it so much that we had like a separate Tupperware. Were you mixed cinnamon, cinnamon and sugar? Wait, I did that too. Oh my god. Well, it was very graceful. Okay. Not okay, amazing. Like Maybe you didn't like get it's more of a middle bite. Like Ooh. Sweet. Okay, I'm down for sweet. I'm doing my cinnamon first and then sugar over it. <laughs> yeah, this is a mess waiting to happen. Okay, yeah. second bite was really good. Better? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just put a little bit. This is mine. Ready? How did you yeah, my poop. Okay, no mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of gooey on the inside. <laughs> it's the goo on the inside, whatever. It is. There's something on the inside. Yum. It's good. Not my typical taste. Yeah, I wouldn't like to order this. Yeah, but when in Rome, you know? <laughs> I just exhaled this all over me. She's beauty and she's grace. Not you. The building. <laughs> Oh my god, the way the sun is hitting it, it's so cool. Wow. It's honestly bigger in person than I thought it would be. 
It's amazing. The shadows. Right on the water too. This is the first time we've been down to the water. We just came across from the monastery over there. And now we're at this giant monument. Oh, that's the English version. <laughs> wow. This man really snored onto the tracks. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's gonna stop. Oh, it's still going. Here it goes. It's going overboard. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> it's literally going down. Wait, the tram, there's a tram at the bottom. It's gonna hit the orange. It's falling off the side. There's no one on the street except us and we're just watching this orange tumble into oblivion. Wow, this is pretty steep. It's so far in the distance. Oh no. Wow, RIP that orange. Yeah. We made it to Sintra. And we got some cheese and some wine. Oh my god, your face is like distorted in the camera. <laughs> Currently climbing up a castle, Sintra, Portugal. There's a nice castle. We're going to the Moorish castle. It's gonna be a great view. Still goes way up there. Wow. Well, the views, the ocean in the distance. I think this was worth the eight euro ticket price. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I didn't even know what we were getting ourselves into. Yeah, I was just I following Lauren's was, plan. Like, that. like the little one down there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Me calling a castle little. <laughs> it is New Year's Eve and we came down to the Pantheon, which is a beautiful dome building. It is closed, we think, but we're just admiring it from outside. <laughs> But they're having this whole market outside, down the street. Our Uber driver told us about this on the first day. I don't remember what the Portuguese name is, but it's something like Market of Old Ladies or something. Yeah. <laughs> have lots of like vintage stuff. Lots of, it's like a big garage sale, honestly. It's like one of those markets, flea yeah, markets. But yeah, today it's actually cloudy here. It's been super nice and sunny. Ooh, fun little teacup collectibles. They have a whole collection of these. Is this like a thing? I've seen a lot of teacups here. Lots of hustle and bustle and vendors. Oh my. This is cool. Mural all behind it. Happy New Year's Eve. It's supposed to burn off and get sunny later. But we're just um, taking a leisurely morning. How much would I have to pay you to get that doll? The one on the right, I think the facial expression. Um, she looks constipated. <laughs> This little dog doesn't even have anyone in his corner. He's fighting his own battles. Dogs of Lisbon. Dogs of Lisbon. We're going to Time Out Market. Not to be confused with Time's Up Market. I'm actually pretty sure there's a Time Out Market in Brooklyn. There's so much to see out of the lights. Hello, sir. Um, wow, this is cool. Wait, let's go down the middle. There's a lot to choose from. We're gonna sample everything in the yes. entire place. But this is, oh, this is cool. I want a picture of this. We're gonna look around for some lunch. That logo looks familiar, doesn't it? Does it to you? I'm gonna look it up, but I swear it's also in New York. Sorry, everyone, don't mind me. Just being an annoying ass bitch. There we go. Okay, I'm good. I'm gonna move for... I had like a pastry this morning with my coffee. I kinda want a pastry now. You do? And my coffee I want like bad. protein. Oh, give me a coffee and some wheat. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it's quite busy. New Year's Eve at Time Out Market. The place to be, the things to see. There's coffee, tartine, tu pequeño, almaco, good jantar. I know I'm butchering all these, but I'm trying, okay, people? I don't know if this is a line. I don't know anything that's going on, but there's like music coming from somewhere. This one looks like toasted marshmallow or something. Bourbon vanilla, oh it's Madagascar cream with mascarpone. I know, it looks so good. So many fun things. Lauren got a cappuccino with chocolate. Chocolate on top? Yum. Chocolato. <laughs> okay, we battled the crowds and found a little seat in the market. It is prime lunchtime right now, so it's very busy, but we found a burger place. We walked around the whole perimeter and we went to a burger place in that corner. Obrego. Oh, it's Obrego. That's like the place we went. For I got the hipster burger. It's supposed to have guacamole, but it's like two grams of guacamole. And, but it's delicious. And then we both got sweet potato fries and they're massive. 
So we're not gonna finish them. Lauren got a chorizo egg burger. What is it called? The mo, it started with an M. Mota. Yum. Delicious. For dessert, we're getting mola de burrito. Lauren got a Nutella one and I got the crema one. Okay, we're up in the middle of nowhere. Look, I'm just a floating head. We're all just floating heads, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah, this is really yummy. <laughs> but this is delicious. It was only 160. 180? 180? 180. At that espresso place. Right there. 13. They also home make granola. Ooh! We found the pink street! Wow. Wow. What is Sorry, that? people. <laughs> Wah, that's like Waluigi. This is cool. It's got this like bridge backdrop. Oh, no. What does that say? Odia un poema emerged how villain, how antiguo que them sabes desde cuando him TV This isn't really as crowded as I expected, but it's very cute. <laughs> Instead of a telephone booth, Lauren found a reading booth. What book did you pick up there, kid? She can't read it. She never learned to read. It's very bright. It's reflecting the light, so we can't really see. Interesting. Okay, everyone, it is New Year's Eve here in Portugal. We're ringing in 2020. We've got our outfits on. We're wearing very similar things. Lauren's trying to pick a new. Oh, this is what I was thinking. <laughs> she just searched tonight. La, la, la. Whatever. Anyway, Lauren's wearing a jumpsuit from Bershka that we found on the streets literally three days ago. No, they look fine though. Because, okay, because the leather jacket is shiny, it like catches in the light as kind of grayish in some lights, so it worked. I have a gray jacket, so I'm like, oh. It would have worked, but it looks really cute. So she's got the jumpsuit from Bershka. She got this from Zara the same day, this crop jacket so for nice. 29 euros. Amazing. Yes. So cheap here. We love it. And then her gray booties. I'm not allowed to show those. I got a dress from Windsor, I think. Windsor? Like we love Windsor. And sparkly, and then this jacket is just from Five High boots that keep falling so down. Spicy. From <laughs> I think I love them. Target, actually. Love Target. We don't love that though. <laughs> this wine from the little grocery store down the street, $4.99, great deal. And then our Airbnb host literally dropped off this Mio Seco and things are falling over there. So cute, they brought a champagne and a couple champagne glasses. I mixed mine with some rosé because I am not classy and I mix my wines apparently. People were judging me at our brunch, but it's fine. Drink a little bit and then we're gonna go to the little square, the outdoor performance, I don't even know. And then we have a ticket after midnight to a club called Ministerio and we're just going with the flow really. Like we have a ticket, but we don't really know what's gonna happen because apparently people don't celebrate in the clubs. They'll celebrate like with their friends before or in the public in the square and watch the fireworks and, and then go. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. We tried to ask the locals for advice and it sounded like this was a good way to go. So, cheers. Cheers, you. Pinkies up. Oh my god. We're just gonna be here in three minutes. Six. I think, oh, oh, and oh. Perfect. And, uh, Look at that. Now you know, the perfect size of a little Bacardi bottle in Look Portugal. <laughs> The entire countdown, it's but apparently okay. it's 2020. Eight, two, one. Happy New Year! That's what we won! Happy New Year! The music really makes it. It feels like this. <laughs> I think we are too. Woo! The 
only place we found that's open on New Year's Day and we're so happy. Dear breakfast. I wouldn't want any other place. Open. Honestly, I'm so pleased with this. We literally were walking around, found nothing. It's like 11 on New Year's Day. And we literally just got on the tram and started going. And then Lauren saw this out the window and we got off at the next stop and trekked back. My cappuccino is so beautiful. Got a croissant, she got a toast, she got a potion. Bring me back to life. <laughs> I'm actually crying. <laughs> Look at this entire thing. Like, holy shit. Did I need all this? Probably not, but I wanted it. We're going on a sunset boat tour. Getting ready to go. the boats used to dock. Now it's absolutely illegal, and the last boat that docked here was around the 80s from the Queen of England. We opened that exception for her, of course, being the Portuguese and the British, the oldest alliance in the world, yes. We had an earthquake in 1755, so there was an earthquake, a fire, and then a major tsunami to the whole city. What did survive? The St. George Castle up here, and a little bit of the Alfama neighborhood, the traditional. So they, they had to reshape it up a little bit, but it's really, really, really as it was. There's Jesus in the distance. Happy birthday, Jesus. Sorry your party so late. I'm trying to keep this steady because it's zoomed in. We have orcas painted on the bottom of the bridge. Or other whales too, not just orcas. Salud. Salud. That's like cheers. And <laughs> Well, I know that's Spanish. I think it's the same in Portuguese. We made it to Belém. This is where we were a couple days ago. And there's this super cool light structure on the end of this dock. I was saying it looks like it belongs in Coachella. But the sun has set. The monument we went to. We have Henry the Navigator. Um, everybody actually you see here is factual people. It's not just figures, like figures. It's like actual people. We have uh, Henry's mother on this side on the back. We have Pedro Alves Cabral. We have a lot of navigators, men of faith. Uh, we have doctors, and like everybody that literally took part of it. It's right here. No, sir, not at all. That's absolutely a myth. Christopher okay. Columbus, he was Italian. He lived in the Azores, and he learned how to sail with the Portuguese. And then he went to another country to help other people. <laughs> Always great. The Bell Is it called the Bellum Tower? Bellum Tower. Bellum Tower. Tower of Terror of Bellum. Tower of Terror. <laughs> I didn't walk down and see it the other day. Um, so it's nice that we got to come by it on the boat. Up close and personal. <laughs> what? The zooming in. So that is pretty much going to conclude this vlog. I know it's kind of all over the place. Just a few different days in Portugal all in one. So kind of a jump around vlog here. We're doing this, there we're doing that. But I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys. Um, if you're traveling there and you wanted ideas or places to go or just to like, you know, come with me. And I love travel vlogs. I think they're so much fun. That boat ride, the prime way to end our trip. It was through Marlin Tours. I don't think we ever actually said we didn't really intro. We just were on a boat. Like a two hour sunset cruise around Lisbon and it was beautiful. So I would definitely recommend. We got wine. It was like 25 euros i think which i think is a good deal for a boat ride it's going to conclude this portugal vlog thanks so much for watching love you guys give it a thumbs up if you made it to the end and i'll see you in my next vlog very soon